Benvenuti a Roma. Good evening. Ci sono gli italiani qua? Sì. Ecco, meno male. Never met. We'll do it in English, I think that the time for words is long, long past and an action that uh, is grounded upon a recognition that we are dealing with a global emergency and I don't think the language is too strong, a global emergency that requires a global response. In other words, uh, sexual abuse is not geographic, uh, it's not cultural either. So it's not a problem, as it were, or a challenge for part of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is everywhere, we're global, and so it is uh, a challenge, a huge challenge, and an emergency for the Catholic Church right around the world. Uh, we'll have to look at the alignment of canon law with civil law in places like Australia, and if there is a tension, that has to be dealt with. So that's very practical, the question of law. But there are a mechanism for accountability, particularly for bishops. See, traditionally, bishops like me have only been accountable to the Holy See. Now, that system has not worked in these changed circumstances. So the practical question then is, what is what is a, a, a workable mechanism to ensure proper accountability for bishops, particularly bishops, who have been derelict in, in this area of child protection? Protecting people who have served or have there needs to be some system of inquiry, shall we say, locally. In my case, in Australia. It could be either provincial or it could be national. Uh, and it needs to be done by a team of people, which uh, uh, not all of whom are clerics, obviously. Again, you can't have Caesar judging Caesar. We've made that mistake many times in the past. That group, you could argue, would then uh, make a, a very substantial inquiry, uh, deliver a report to the Holy See here. The Holy See would examine the report, make its own inquiry and eventually formulate a recommendation to the Pope, who in the end is the only one who can make the decision. There is, oh there's Michael.